Grant, a 3-0 win here at Morecambe. What was your assessment of that one? Uh, very controlled, I felt. Uh, really good in the first half. Uh, you know, it's uh, the team's playing with real good confidence at the minute. And uh, two very good goals. Um, great, great ball from Hacks and a very good finish from Mullows. And then a, a free kick that we've worked on in training. You know, we... we uh, <clears throat> We tried to make it diffi difficult for the goalkeeper to line his wall up, so we kept Molyneux away right to the last minute and then bring him across. So he's got to move again, which keeps him guessing, and Moles has found the gap brilliantly, which is really good. Um, second half, I felt that we're against the wind. Um, it was difficult, but I still felt we're in control. We limited them to shots from distance. When Timmy needs to make a save, he makes, he makes a really good save. Uh, and then we score a great goal. You know, good, good pass from Matty Craig, great ball from Max and a and a good finish to, from, from Tommy to win the game for us, or to cement the points. It, it's six wins on the bounce, it's four clean sheets on the bounce as well. You've got just about everything from your team at the moment. Yeah, like I say, the boys are playing with, playing with a smile on their face. They're, they're enjoying um, They're enjoying it at the moment, it's really pleasing. Um, you know, we need to see how Max Biamo is today and, and Harrison Biggins. That's probably the only downside of the, of the, of the day. Um, you know, we want to try and avoid this if we can, any more injuries, but but the most important thing here was coming here today and, and getting the three points and, we, and we've done that. What is the initial prognosis, particularly with Biggins, obviously forced off in the first half? Yeah, just a tight calf, I think. He just felt his calf in the in the first half. Uh, so we took him off before there was any further damage. Max has just felt his hamstring as he ran through. Um, <clears throat> so we don't know, I mean, it's, it's a bit early to, to say, uh, but yeah, we'll see what the physio says. Luke Molyneux came off late on, was that just fatigue in the end? Yeah, probably just tired Luke, just, he ran himself into the ground again, He's, he was threatening all day. Uh, and that's pleasing, we've got players in good form, players scoring goals, um, the team's in good form, clean sheets. Coming away from home now, we're sending our, half, our fans home happy, it's really pleasing. Particularly following on from Tuesday night yeah. and the amount of energy that will have taken out of your players to you know, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Wrexham and, and get the win there. How much credit do they, do they deserve to, to get themselves going again and, and go here? Yeah, we, we had to be careful with them um, leading into this game, obviously after the Wrexham game, ma making sure we got the recovery protocols right, the, amount of, the right amount of time on the training ground so we can prepare for this game. And obviously quite a bit of work in the analysis room to, to, to put a plan in place to, to, together to, to try and get us a result today and, and it's worked out so it's really pleasing. In terms of the away end, they were singing Rovers are winning six in a row, that must have been really pleasing to, to Yeah, hear. I heard them, yeah, it's, it's great isn't it, you know. I felt they were a little bit too early with it, like there were still about seven or eight minutes left, so I started panicking when I heard that. But listen, you know, our fans are, are confident as well at the minute. We're confident, the team's confident, it's great. It's, it's a great place to be. The reverse fixture, probably not something you want to look back on too often, but it was, you know, Morecambe beat you 5 0 in December. To then come here and, and win 3 0, it's a mark, isn't it, if any, of, of, of how far you've come since then? I, I, honestly, I didn't even mention it, Robbie, honestly. I didn't mention it to the players before the game, didn't mention it after the game. Um, because the season is 46 games, it's what you do after 46 games, it's not about one game against Morecambe, mm -hmm. uh, whenever it was. Um, today was just about us following on from the form that we're in, following on the confidence that we're in and see if we can get another result. You are in to the top half though, and I know you won't look at it until 46 games, but it seems like a pretty significant achievement from, from where you have been. This yeah, we just keep going, just on to the next one now, you know. Game against Walsall, another team that's, you know, I'm sure right in around that top seven. So uh, we've played some good teams over the, over the recent weeks, teams in and around that top seven. So hopefully we can put another good performance on and get, and get another three points. A word on a couple of the experienced players to start with. Tommy Rowe's energy to, to get up and support Max Biamu for that winning goal. Probably the type of run you've seen from Tommy Rowe many a time over the years. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's... Rowe, he's come on, he's, he's had to come on, he's done really well since he, when he came on and, and the chances have been limited a little bit for him because of the form of Big O and particularly really in the midfielders. Um, but it was nice to see him get about, I don't know what he got, about 70 minutes today, was it? Uh, and he, enjoy, you know, he enjoyed that goal at the end. It was a calm finish from him, really pleased from him. Just finally, Richard Wood to come in and play today. We saw him in a bit of a tangle, didn't we, on, on Tuesday night. He had a deep cut to the head and had to be helped from the field. For him to pick himself up, himself up four days later, go again and perform now he did, that's the sort of character you need and, and want. In this yeah, he, he said right away, and, the, and when I went to see him after the game against Wrexham, and he said, look, I'll be fine. But the, the gash in his head was something like I'd never seen before. So the physio and the doctor have done really well to, to patch him up and stitch him up into, into what it looks like at the minute. Um, 
we obviously wasn't on the grass on Thursday. We got him out on Friday, but we limited any sort of contact to his head. Uh, and today he's fine. He's good as gold. You know, he's been he's been huge since he's come back into the team. Just his talking, uh, communication, and his organisation around people um, has certainly helped us. How quickly does attention turn to Walsall on Tuesday? Straight away. Straight away, we're. You know, the way we like to work on a Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday game is we'll debrief both games on the Thursday, so our focus has turned straight away to, to Tuesday now.